questions that can help you in your next Salesforce interview. So the first question was that inside an LWC component, we are using an input field of type number. And when we are going to provide any kind of number inside that input box, it consists of commas. Now, if you want to remove this comma, how can we do it? Now, this was the question that was asked to me in one of the startup interviews. So the question was quite simple. First of all, I would like to highlight that they might ask you to write the code over here as well. So he asked me to write the code inside this input box inside the LWC developer.salesforce.com docs. Okay, you are you may you might be able to ask like they might ask you to write the code over here as well. Okay, because we did not have any LWC component. They asked me to write the code over here. So let me first of all remove all the things that we have over here. Okay, let me remove all these things. Okay, so first of all, let me take the type of as, as number. Okay, now if I'm going to make in the num uh, input type as number, now let's say if I'm going to put some value inside, like one, two, three, four, five. So if I remove this, if you see right now, as soon as I'm going to provide the uh, any kind of number inside this input box, there is comma introduced in between, right? Automatically, a comma is introduced. So the question was that we don't want that comma. Okay, the input type will be number. Okay, but we want to remove that comma. Now the question is, how can we remove that comma? So this was the basic question. Now for this purpose, I gave a little bit of different answer. If you guys have any other idea, you can also provide the same inside the comment section. But I gave this following idea. So first of all, what I did was I created a variable. Uh, I did the same kind of thing in the case of password, right? So there is an I icon and, and when we click on that I icon, we change the data type. So that's what I did the same thing. First of all, I did was I created a track variable named as data type. And by default, I gave it as number, right? And uh, let me import the track as well over here. Okay. Now, once that is done, I am going to replace this data type variable over here. Okay me do it okay so what I have done over here is that by default the data type will be defined from this variable which is number right now if I see one two three four five if I'm going to put inside any value inside it it will be having comma inside it okay now over here what I did was instead of that I added one more on change method and then I copy pasted this handle change and over here as soon as someone is going to change right as soon as someone is going to put some kind of values inside it I am going to change the data type of this I'm going to change it to text so by default the input type would be number right because the by default if I load this component the data type would be number as soon as someone is going to start changing the values inside it it will be changed to type as text so what's going to happen is that as it's going to change the type as text uh, so basically what it's going to do is it's going to remove that comma now someone might say that okay why don't you change the data type over here itself so he said that you cannot do it okay you have to do it dynamically or something like that so i did the same way i did i was not able to do it directly over here he said find out a way to do it dynamically okay so that's what i did what i did was i used the data type variable and i on change of the values i just changed the data type variable to text so automatically this lightning input will get converted to text we similarly do the same kind of thing in case if you want to uh, use the create a function of show and hide the formula so now if i give one two three four five six it won't have commas at all okay so this was the solution that i gave if you have any other different solution or a better solution, you can always recommend it. Uh, but I got selected in the interview. But this was the solution that I gave. You can also try out something else. Let's move on to the next question. The next question says that if you want to show an LWC component for a specific set of profile and we need to hide it for the rest of them, how can we do it? Now recently one of the subscriber connected with me with these questions and he asked me the same question and uh, specifically the answer is for him. Uh, he uh, he told me can you give the answer over so that it will help for uh, many other people right. So and this is also the question that is multiple time asked in an interview okay it was also asked to me multiple times and I gave two possible solutions for him. One of them is custom metadata and using custom setting. Okay, so let me talk about first of all the custom metadata. What I'm going to do is inside the custom metadata. First of all, I'm going to create a custom metadata, let's say uh, with name as LWC config. 
let's consider this okay inside this i will create two variables of two fields that is active checkbox and one of them is nothing but profile descriptions or name of the profiles okay this will be a text area field okay so basically this would be a checkbox field and there will be a name of the profiles which will be a text area field now over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to provide the names of the profiles inside it in the semi colon or se some comma separated let's say system admin i want to give the access to and semicolon i can give a uh, test as one of the profile let's say i've gi i've given two of them right now i'm giving the name of the profile value as system admin and uh, test in the form of semicolon and i have choose it as text area the reason is because there can be numerous number of profiles right so that's the reason why i have chosen the bigger box now once that is done okay you can go to your lwc component okay there will be an lwc component inside this we will have an html we will have the js we will have the apex as well inside apex first let's say there is an html okay and there is a component over here so inside this component uh, basically what i'm going to do is inside wire i'm going to call a method of apex right we basically got a method of apex inside this method of apex uh, the same method i'm going to provide it over here and inside this method of apex what i'm going to do is first of all i'm going to get the current user's id current user id you can usually get it using user info dot get user id okay you can user info dot get user id you can get the current logged in user's id and based on that i'm going to query the name of the profile okay i'm just telling the algorithm you can visualize it and do it on your own but i'm going to query the name of the profile of the current logged in user and then also i'm going to query the custom metadata now once i've queried the custom metadata next what i'm going to do is i'm going to split the name of the profile that ever whatever that have been provided over here i'm going to split that profile based on the split them based on semicolon right now let me write it this way so that it is easier to understand i'm going to split them based on the semicolon now once i have split them inside the semicolon i'm going to so store it within the set and then store um, set store okay basically i'm going to store it within the set once i have stored it within the set i'm going to check the current user logged in the current user profile is within the set right if the current user logged in user uh, the profile is within that set then i'm going to return true or else i'm going to return the false and if this is true then i'm going to show this component okay i'm going to show this specific component if true i'm just writing it below so simply what's going to happen is that as soon as the component will be loaded method of apex will be called which will check the which will first of all get the current user id and the name of the profile and then similarly at the same time what it's going to do is it's going to check whether the current user logged in profile is within the custom metadata or not if it's not there it's going to return false else if it's going to return true and if it is going to return true our component will also get the true value and then it will start showing the html page basically the lwc component on the other hand one of the way of custom metadata this is one of the way of using custom metadata and using custom setting you can use hierarchical custom setting i don't know the spelling but yeah custom setting okay you can also use the hierarchical custom setting and you can specify the profile to which you want to give the access to and you can use the same custom setting within your apex and you can do the same thing over here again okay so you can use custom metadata and custom setting in custom setting you can use hierarchical custom setting and custom metadata you can use just a bare custom metadata right now this was the answer to this second question now before moving to the next question if you found my videos helpful till this point if you are finding my videos helpful i request you to please like my videos if you really find this videos helpful so that it motivates me and also subscribe to my channel let's move on to the last question again this also the question was been asked to me by a subscriber that how can we manage the security inside lwc now even i can be wrong okay but you can also say like i don't think so lwc has its own security okay lwc does not have its own security we have template if inside this template if we can add extra conditions and then we can show or hide the component but the whole security of your lwc is derived by the apex classes right the whole security of your lwc component is basically derived by the apex classes now if your apex classes is with sharing context without sharing context right inherited sharing context 
whatever it might be right based on that if it's with with which sharing then basically the lwc component will also get the imposed uh, security right on the other hand if it's without sharing then lwc component is not going to have any kind of security right it's just going to show to everybody so basically i specifically think so that the whole security of a lwc is specifically defined by the apex classes in what context they are running and who does have access to those apex classes if a user or the profile does not have access to that apex classes of course they won't be able to see another thing is that if there is which in which context is it running is it with sharing without sharing inherited sharing and whatever it might be so lwc does not have its own security but it's deriving its security from the apex classes so this was all about today's interview question if you found this video helpful i request you to please again like this video and subscribe to my channel thank you